Hi, good morning, everybody. Welcome to Inside Web Security and how to make money selling security. My name is Michael Fowler. I'm the president of Channel Partners, and we're really looking forward to introduce our web security product line to you today. Thank you very much for joining us. And I'd like to hand over to Lakin. Michael, and good morning, everyone. Good afternoon for those in Europe and Asia. Um, I'm the director of channel marketing. My name is Lakin Ragsdale, and we are so excited that you've joined us with me. If you do have any questions through our broadcast, please drop them in the questions or chat. Um, feature, feature a good webinar, and we will happily answer those today if time, and if not, we will follow up via email. Hi, everyone. I'm Alex Pena, Senior Product Marketing Manager with Sectigo. And I'm excited that uh, you've taken some time out of your day to join us uh, on this webinar series. Um, today, I'm going to talk to you about how online security has evolved, what are the current buyer and vendor pain points, and how Sectigo can really empower your business to tap into this growing security market and increase your average order value. Um, so we'll jump right into it. All right, so for decades now, organizations of all sizes have been investing in cybersecurity technologies to really stay ahead of new cyber threats and uh, reduce the cost of security breach. And that's really where Citigo comes in. All these enterprise and channel partner logos you see here, um, and many more that we really even couldn't fit on the screen, really entrust us uh, with the protection of their brands as well as their customers. And we cover all sectors of businesses and all business sizes from enterprise to SMB, as you can see here, and most importantly, all of you guys, which is our partner channel. Now, I think we can all agree that cyber crime is really evolving and growing rapidly. And the threat is not only really measured in year over year growth, but what we're experiencing is really exponential growth daily. And that's evident with the malware statistic we see here with over 300,000 malwares being created daily. And exasperating this uh, issue is, is, is the fact that new technologies that are being introduced to the market, um, kind of like the, the drag and drop website builders, uh, which really leverage user-friendly CMS and plugins. Um, and, and they're really great in expanding markets with enhanced usability, but really what's happening is that they also create tons of vulnerabilities, even faster than what the users can really secure them, which is why we're experiencing stats listed here with a 21% increase in CMS vulnerabilities, which are causing 30,000 plus websites to be hacked daily. And while WordPress, uh, with the fact that it has you know, ease of use and open source platform owns 62% of the market share, it's really also driving 90% of all hacked websites. So what have we done to really address all of these overwhelming threat statistics? Well, over two decades ago, we introduced the SSL certificate to encrypt the transfer of data. And as we can see here from our timeline, this really worked well for a decade or so, but bad actors are extremely resourceful. And they realize that the SSL only protects one aspect of online presence, which is why having only a one-sided approach to security is never an ideal security posture. So to stay ahead of these new threats and reduce the cost of security breach, organizations have to invest in cybersecurity technologies. So supporting SSL search with additional layers and protection that are really easy to use and automatic is the only way to have proactive protection that can automatically mitigate all of these cyber threats, especially those deep-seated attacks. And this has really never been more evident than in the last four months with the COVID affecting all of our online lives, right? COVID has caused an increase in remote work where users probably most likely are, are working with less secure protocols. There's an imposed mass quarantine measure, which is creating an increase web, uh, in web traffic. And so what we saw was that as the coronavirus crisis escalated, there were changes in traffic and attack trends across multiple industries and countries. Reports revealed that the cyber threat index remained at a high level with a 20% increase in the number of attacks. So just last month alone, both United States and China experienced overall growth in web traffic and attacks with over 80% of these attacks being categorized by only two types of attacks. 50% of all attacks were targeted remote file inclusion vulnerabilities. 
which if you're not familiar with these, they exploit the referencing function in web apps to upload malware from a different domain like backdoor shells. The other 32 plus percent were done via cross scripting attacks, which executed malicious scripts in web browsers with the intent to either simply direct users, steal cookies, or even impersonate the victim. And who pray tell were all these attacks aimed at? Well, with the global changes in behavior during the lockdown, there was an evident increase in retail e-commerce internet traffic. During March and April, we saw similar volumes of traffic normally reserved for the peak period around Black Friday and Cyber Monday. This caused bad actors to increase bot traffic, which accounted for 80% of the attacks on retail and finance sites only. And in the new sector alone, it was accounted for 91% of the attacks. And hackers also aimed their attack crosshairs at domain, name registrar, and web hosting sector as well. Bad actors ramped up the volume and size of application DDoS attacks becoming fiercer or more frequent, causing these attacks to increase 37% higher than average, with one major domain name registrar and web hosting company experiencing a DDoS attack that lasted 19 hours. So what these trends and attacks tells us is that they're really primarily targeting SMB websites. For instance, Verizon's 2020 data breach investigation report states that over 70% of cyber attacks are targeting small businesses. And why SMBs? Well, simply because it's easy money. First, the smaller the business is, the less likely it is to have adequate cyber defenses. Moreover, even larger SMBs typically don't even have budgets or resources for dedicated security teams or state-of-the-art prevention. So taking over web sessions and financial sites, for instance, is to no surprise, extremely profitable, right? Uh, hackers really enable now attack automation to run advanced attacks at scale. And when you're looking at the retail sector, we now see that the POS intrusions are no longer the most common type of attack. That position is really taken by attacks against web applications, which really you can imagine it's, it's primarily driven by online retailers in the e-commerce industry. And what both the retail and food and beverage sector have in common is their multi-store ecosystem where they often use the same IT system across multiple locations. So once a cyber criminal can compromise a system in one location or, or one site, they likely can duplicate that same attack in multiple locations, all of which give, give them access really to the hacker holy grail, as I say, but customer records. And if you think it's difficult for, for these hackers to attack an attack, an automated bot or DDoS attack only costs a hacker less than $100 to purchase on the dark web marketplace with a potential ROI yield of 20x on that purchase if only one of those attacks is successful. Now keep in mind that those attacks run automatic in, in function to tons of sites um, at, at a time. So they do this because it's a numbers game, right? Um, they, they are counting on taking advantage of two things that all of these SMBs um, have in common in their security posture. Number one, they lack the ability to identify and uncover threats giving the hackers the opportunity to wreak that havoc that they want. And number two, they simply fail to address any existing vulnerabilities, which are already known to bad actors and their automated attacks. So what can SMBs do to stay at the forefront of these threats? Well, the list is pretty short and sweet. <clears throat> Excuse me. They, number one, have to have threat insight by using web scanners to uncover risks. They need to be, in these, these uh, scanners uh, have to be done on a daily and, and automatic basis with an automatic tool. Number two, they, they need to patch vulnerabilities, specifically uh, those plugins which continuously need updating. Keep in mind that that, patch, that patching exercise should be uh, done in cautious uh, manner because uh, they might break a site if, and cause an operability if those other web apps and plugins um, don't necessarily work well with what is being updated. They need to remove those unused plugins and even worse, any hidden malicious code that could be doing harm without the owner even knowing it. And number four, this one obviously goes without saying because they obviously need to block those persistent attacks and abundant attacks so they don't cause any further damage. And most importantly, staying at the forefront of cybersecurity landscape um, is, is, is ideal, right? Because they need to be aware of what the bad actors are doing to be able to stop them before they even get to them. So yeah, this checklist for SMBs to stay ahead it's pretty simple enough, right? Well, again, there are two common challenges that SMBs are having. Uh, if not, it's shared by most of all, all of them. 
Number one, they're not technical in nature and even less they're any type of cyber expert. And number two, they lack the resources which can really include budget, time, and people. All the resources needed to be able to really tackle every one of those checklist items. So with that said, they're really looking for someone to help them address these challenges. And if that could be someone like you and your company, let's look into what your business would need to address the needs of that web security buyer. Number one, you should transform and evolve your brand as a value trusted advisor for your customers by handling all of their website security needs with a fully managed solution. You should be, it should be fully automated so that you minimize both your customers and your very own resources with fully integrated products that require minimal user action to effectively complete their actions. This platform should be multi-sided so that you can stay ahead of the ever-evolving landscape with comprehensive and scalable portfolio that leverages continuing innovation and R&D to really suit the growing buyer needs and the evolving threats. You need to simplify the complex, right? You need to make sure that you uncover the buyer needs that really usually are hidden to them. Um, and it's usually because of the complexity and the technical jargon. Um, and you can do this through customer education and, 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 and buyer empathy. And most important also, you, you, you need to satisfy your customer's technical needs with cyber experts that really will ensure customer can become brand advocates, right? And, and, and this is provided through 24 seven handling and support. And by checking this, this product portfolio checklist, um, you really will be able to address all of your growing customer's website security needs. And that'll help you grow your value proposition with a comprehensive product portfolio that, that really helps to improve brand awareness preference and loyalty. So whether you're an SSL reseller, um, a, a web hosting provider, domain name registrar, a managed service provider, um, and, and especially if maybe you're all of those uh, services all packed in one, your customers initially choose your logo to help them maintain a continuous and positive online presence. And it's critical that the promise of that value proposition be delivered to your customers on a consistent basis as they grow their business as shown in this chart because it leads to loyal long-term customers and ultimately really improves the lifetime value of each and every customer. And that's where having a security partner like Sectigo can be a game changer, becoming a one-stop shop and helping you to identify what your customers want and articulating that value proposition in a way that, they strongly, that strongly resonates with them. And it's all done within a single platform that is fully integrated and automated um, and will result in keeping your customers with, with you versus uh, they're buying from someone else to solve, versus buying from someone else to, to sort of solve their security needs. So let me hand it over to Michael now so he can really give you an overview of our exciting all-in-one website security solution. Thanks, Alex. <clears throat> so yeah, I mean, just, just to touch on what Alex was, was saying there, we think it's very important for our channel partners to be able to have lots of additional security products in relation to the customer's ever evolving business. And I think that that is the joy of us bringing to market our web security platform. Now it's called Sectigo Web and we're really, really excited about it. It's been cooking for a very long time on our end. And I would say that one of the most advantageous um, options about Sectigo Web is the fact that it all comes through on one API. So if you are an existing SSL partner today and you are placing these SSL orders via the APIs, we're very pleased to tell you that if you change the product IDs, just like you would in the same API, you would then have access to all of these additional components that you see on the left-hand side. What's really unique is that we have three different routes to market and I'll touch on them, but each one of these components can be picked up a la carte or be placed into any sort of bundles. So I'm gonna jump into each one of these features and we're really excited about it. If you do have any questions while I do talk through it, please feel free to, to ask them. And let me jump into the very first one that we have, Web Detect. So Web Detect is an external monitoring tool. What it does is once the domain is provisioned onto the Web Detect platform, on a daily basis, we will go through and we will check the domain for any malware that we can find. We will check it for any platform vulnerabilities as well as blacklist monitoring. Now, what is a 
platform vulnerability. Well, if you were to look at a website like WordPress, WordPress sometimes sits there and it doesn't get updated for a very long time. So zero day attacks become available. And just like Alex was talking about, you know, they do have these bots, they can go out, they can find these vulnerabilities in bulk, and then they can go ahead and they can attack them and then they get defaced and, and the rest of it. So knowing that your customer has this vulnerability is a unique upsell opportunity for the channel partner. And it's also unique visibility for the end customer to know, oh, okay, I do have a security vulnerability here. How do I take the next step and remediate that? So with the remediation, we get onto our next component and it is exactly that. What it will do is it will look at the CMS vulnerability or any e-commerce plugins like, like WooCommerce. And with a one click, resolution, they will be able to slice in the security update for that CMS platform. Now, I say slice in, what does that mean? Well, if you were a CMS website owner and you decided to just roll out and update the entire WordPress platform, you could be going from a version one to a version seven, for example, or even to from a one to a 1.2, that could then in essence break any additional plugins that you have or any themes. So what we have here when we say we slice in the security update is that we do just that. We don't need to update the entire core and break the website. We can slice in the update and we can fix the website and make it fully secure. This is extremely important because it would reduce any of our partners' support tickets because we won't break anything. We can also automate it, which means as soon as we find the vulnerability, we can then run through and resolve it. The next component that we have is web clean. I'm sure everybody on the phone call understands malware. It will be able to go through, it can remove any malware files, it can remove any malware written into the code itself. And in addition, it can remove any malware found in the database, a very crucial, important feature. Next up, we have our backup technology. Now we got this technology from our CoGuard acquisition. And I must say, we've been really excited about the growth of the backup product line. And it's very important for us to include this within our package options as well. The number one advantage that you have with CodeGuard or even uh, Sectigo Web Backup is that when we do run the backup, we are 100% reliable. I mean, we're seeing here 99 and an ever ending number of nines, but we are backing up 1 million websites every single day, which is a testament to, to the platform itself. Another important crucial um, product component that we have is Anycast DNS. So the web DNS product, it offers DNSSEC, that's gonna be coming through in Q3, vanity name server support, and a network of over 200 POPs for our DNS platform. A, another component, number six, we have a CDN. We have a fully baked CDN, layer three and layer four protective, 45 global pots, 65 terabit DDoS protection. And we're really excited about being able to, to bring a CDN package. In addition to the CDN component, we also have our web application firewall. Now, any firewall these days needs to be able to block OWASP top 10. That's essentially a top 10 list of attacks and we're able to do that. We have bad bot protection built into the firewall, firewall as well as DDoS protection. <clears throat> now, if you're looking at all of these protection components and security components, in addition to that, a business also needs to be governed by, is it compliant? Does it have compliancy? So we've had, we've been an approved scanning vendor now for probably good on 10 plus years. And what we're able to bring with our web security platform is we're able to incorporate PCI compliancy as well. Now, what's unique about the full product stack is that if your customer's website is on the CDN, the WAF, the DNS, you can pretty much be certain that they will be able to fly through the PCI compliancy without any hitches at all. So we're very excited to have this, this full security stack. Now, just to touch base on, on some of the core feature components, 
it's all integrated within one API. How powerful is that? You're an SSL partner. Now you have an additional eight products you can bring to market for any of your customers' needs. It offers differentiation when you're looking at plain SSL. So if you're a dedicated SSL provider today, you will now be able to differentiate your paid for SSL certificates against any free certificates in the marketplace with this extensive product portfolio. Another great feature is that you now have the ability to do upsell and lead conversions from your entire base because we are monitoring that base on a daily basis and being able to report back to you any vulnerabilities for any of your customers, creating a very unique frictionless upsell for you and your clients. Now, if we were to circle back and on the intro, I said that we have we have great features. I think that it's a feature in itself in how we're able to actually go to market with all of these products. So we've got three routes to market. Number one, we've essentially come out with new Sectigo SSL certificates. These Sectigo certificates have a lot of these security features all baked into them. Our enterprise version of the SSL has all of the components built into the SSL. So if you really wanted to just focus on SSL certificates, you can do so, but offer them the full comprehensive suite, all inclusive of that SSL, really giving you differentiation, not only between any other CA in the marketplace, but also any free providers out there. And the second route that we have to market, if you could envision that you already have a base of customers who already have their SSL certificates, no reason to come back to you to renew their SSL for a year or two. What you have now is you have a security bundle where you could in essence go back to your SSL customers and offer them a full layered security approach by pushing forward on those bundles. And the third option, one that we think is very unique in the marketplace today, is our a la carte. And I think this is very exciting because if you are a domain name registrar, for example, and what you've really been looking for is a DNS solution, well, now you can come to Sectigo, you can jump into the web security suite, and you can essentially just pick up the DNS solution. If you are a hosting company and you would like to differentiate on your hosting packages, maybe one has a CDN, the next one up has web application firewall and CDN, you can again take those different components and you can bundle them into your packages, essentially making it a very modular offering. And we're extremely excited about that and we hope that you are too. Now, when you are bringing a product to market, what I have noticed is that it's one thing to have the APIs all good and ready, and I hope that you will see that we've done a very good job in being able to push that forward. If anybody wants to look at the APIs, you can go to sectigoweb.dev. The next component after the integration and the technical POCs is certainly marketing. And with that, I would like to hand over to Lakin, where she can tell you more about all the work that we've done to assist you in bringing these products and features to, to market. Thanks so much, Michael. Yeah, I'll recap quickly. Um, like Michael said, it's fully integrated. Um, this is a big piece for us um, as a team, like he said. Uh, one, it's one API, we call it auto apply order API for all of our products, those of you that are partners of ours already. Um, and those of you that are not, it's quick and easy to get that API set up and we're here to help. Um, we also have plugins via cPanel and WHMCS. Um, we address accountability. Michael mentioned white labeling. That is completely included for us. We don't charge you extra for that, and it really helps improve your brand loyalty. Um, and the marketing team and technical teams are here to help you get that set up as well. Um, we help you optimize revenue by offering those turnkey upsell paths um, that are fully automated. You know, once we detect that there is a, a vulnerability or malware on site, we have the solution to help remediate it and get it fixed for you and your customers. Um, we can add new revenue streams with the eight levels of security products that Michael ran through today, um, in addition to SSL, for those of you that are not already selling our SSLs. Um, this is enterprise grade protection for SMBs, medium sized businesses, and even enterprise customers. This, this really is a fully comprehensive suite of security offerings. 
Um, there's the three routes to market that Michael mentioned. Um, and then really diving into that turnkey marketing, which is like Michael said, is, is the next step after you get all technically ready. And actually we do it in parallel. So while well, the technical team's helping you get set up, um, integrated and ready to sell from a technical perspective, we're helping you get ready to sell from marketing. So we really try to reduce that time to market. Um, we offer the turnkey lead gen and upsell campaigns. We walk you through exactly how to get that set up. Uh, we have sales enablement for both you, your resellers, and, and we help you get that information all the way down to the end customer. Um, and we've created over 50 assets, which I'll go into on, on the next page. Um, we launched today, actually, a marketing guide um, that's fully comprehensive, very interactive. We, we pass that over to you, but we also walk, walk you through each and every step. Um, another big piece to marketing is, is education, right? So while a majority of people probably on this call know what malware is and know what vulnerabilities are, know what patching means, there are the end users that, at a small to medium-sized business that do not have that technical expertise. So as, as Alex mentioned earlier on in the presentation, it's really important to educate them and why they might need this and what the risk is if they do not have a fully comprehensive security suite. Um, so we offer the education materials to you as our partners, and but we are also pushing those all the way through different publications, website, SEO keywords, everything like that to get to the end user and really teach them what they need um, and, cre and create that demand. And we offer easily digestible evergreen assets. Those are super simple to understand for the non-technical people. Um, as Michael and Alex mentioned, we offer that full threat visibility, one-stop one shop. You look in one suite or one, one software platform, sorry, um, and it's, you, know, you can see everything. The, the web scanner is on by default. There's real-time automated notifications for the end user. Uh, we decrease OPEX by offering network-wide security. Um, we increase bandwidth for things that matter the most in cyber support and help increase website speed overall. And the last thing that I'll touch on on this page is we offer all of this in multiple languages, 15 plus languages actually for support, which we offer phone, chat, and web, 24-7, uh, 365. Um, and the actual Sectigo web security platform is available in 15 languages. Pretty exciting. So circling back to those 50 plus assets, and we are continuing to create every day. Um, we offer digital ads, keywords, and recommendations. These are things that you can really just take and put your logo on and launch right away. So really helping get your time to market down. We walk you through every step. We are here to help as much or as little as you want and need. Uh, we also offer the email templates both for pr um, promotion and for the, the technical email alerts that need to come from the platform. We offer those templates as HTML. So it's very easy to just drop in what you need um, your logos, your colors, you can take icons, you can change wording, very simple. We're here to help you with that as well. Um, we do the same thing for the landing pages. So we created nine landing pages for Sictiga Web. Um, each one of those goes into a whole lot of detail, which you can visit at sictiga.com slash web. Um, but we really created those as a repository for our partners to go pull the data that they need. We also have web security videos that are available um, to be white labeled and rebranded, and we're happy to help you there. When, and then we dive into solution brief, product brief, data sheets, and infographics. Um, we walk you and your partners, your, our sub sellers, your partners, um, through different upsell strategies and different marketing plans. Um, but then we have what's, in, what's most beneficial to the end user as well, um, data sheets that offer planned comparisons between Sictigo and, and others, as well as between Sictigo's packages. We have plan briefs that talk about each individual plan. Um, we also have product briefs that dive into each individual piece that Michael talked about today. Um, and we can do customizable infographics, um, which can help to show exactly what um, you as a partner has across your customer's domains. Um, so feel free to reach out to us to get that information. Um, the Sictigo web team, I know I've said it a few times already, but we're really here to help you. So you have Michael. Alex, you have myself, you have product manager Sachin Galecha, who runs all of the Sectigo web products here at Sectigo, um, and it's a really exciting team. So, um, and like I said, we want to walk you through everything. But without further ado, we want you to join us for our next webinar on plugins and WCMS to be held on August the 7th. Um, and if you want more information about Sectigo web as a whole, visit sectigo.com slash web, and you can even on there schedule a 
uh, a quest from us, we will walk you through a more in-depth version of this and help you get set up to start selling. All right, we do have a couple of questions. Michael and Alex, I think you'll be able to help answer a few of these. Um, the first one is, how is this better than server-based tools for WAF, malware, security, et cetera? Michael, I think you might be on mute. I think I think the advantage that we really have with the have with the web security platform is that there's nothing for the end customer that he has to actually even install on his web server. And the same goes for the hosting partners. The only thing in essence that we would need is SFTP details, and this can all be automatically provisioned from the APIs. And this would then allow us to automatically go in and back up any of the websites, fix any of the CMS contents, and remove any of the malware. So a huge advantage for us in being able to completely automate without having to install components on the servers themselves. Awesome, thank you. Um, and then another question says, what if I offer SSL already, both free and commercial? Uh, I, think, I think then you're in a fantastic position. Uh, if you're already offering our SSL certificates, you can then take advantage of the single API and be able to build up any sort of components that you would like that we've discussed today. You can, in addition, leverage and differentiate your SSL product suite from picking up our new advanced SSL certificates. Really are a game changer in the CA market. We see other CAs in the market today offering malware scanning but then as soon as your customer or even you as a partner are alerted that there's an issue there, you are then stuck looking for a provider to offer that remediation. So I think that we've really taken the next step in advancing what CAs can do for channel partners and bringing into market that additional full layered security approach. In addition, if I may add, Michael, um, what ends up happening also is you, you know, being an SSL reseller, I mean, at the end of the day, you don't, you want to sort of evolve with the market, right? And so um, this gives you, this platform gives you the opportunity to start um, diving into that market, that web security market, that that expansive web, web security market, it's more than just SSLs. And so, um, you know, with the simple integration, we facilitate that and it's simple for you to sort of toggle on and off uh, these services and, and these solutions um, and introduce them to market uh, with, a, with, a, with a shortened time span, right? And, and so um, you want to evolve your, your business, you want to make sure that your customers stay with you versus um, missing out on um, any type of revenue because they're going to a competitor that offers um, that type of uh, solution. So um, I think it's, as Michael said, it's, 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 a, it's a unique position for the SSL resellers are in with this particular product. Awesome. Thanks, Alex and Michael. Appreciate that answer. Um, the next one that we have is, how long does it take to launch a new security product from the Sectiga web suite? Sorry, can, can you repeat? Yeah, absolutely. How long does it take to launch a new security product from the suite? Like from, from time of, to time of, I want to do it to live and selling. Sure. Um, if, if you would like, send any of your developers to sectigoweb.dev and what you will find there is that we have a brand new uh, API, not in terms of the API, but a brand new way of showing and demonstrating the API. So any of your tech guys can go to this endpoint and they can put in their username and password credentials for their SSO and then they can actually build out code on the website and copy that code. We think that in terms of a timeline taking into QA and a push to live, I mean, you could probably get it done within the day if, if you were tech savvy. Um, I don't think that there's anything holding back any partners from, from being able to do it very, very quickly. Obviously, there are other factors that come into play like billing mechanisms and you know, taking taking the payments from customers in various different ways. 
but we really have tried a lot to streamline the API. Now, if you are coming from the standpoint where you don't have the ability to, to do APIs, we are launching on Wednesday our new WHMCS plugin. This is the first time that we've actually released the WHMCS plugin, and it will have all of the SecTigo SSL certificates as well as all of the web security products that you've seen us talk about today. Um, I will say as well that later in, in the quarter, next quarter coming up, August, we will have all of these components built into the web host reseller interface as well. So you will be able to essentially log in and you could just click buy on any one of the products that you would like. And uh, then in essence, you don't even new, need to do any API integration at all. So we're really coming to market with as detailed of a process as possible through the API or as simple a process in just clicking a buy button and checking out. Awesome, thank you so much, Michael. All right, we don't wanna go over on time, so we're going to go ahead and wrap up. We really appreciate all of you joining us today, and we hope that you will register for our next webinar um, on WHMCS, which really reduces that time to market as well, if you're not already integrated with the API. So like I said, that'll be on August the 7th. And again, thank you all so much for joining. If we missed any questions, we will follow up via email. Um, but without further ado, everyone have a great Friday and a great weekend. We appreciate you. Thank you, everyone. Enjoy the rest of your, your day and have a good weekend. Thank you, Jane. Bye-bye.